Guns in schools, a hot topic, especially this week. Wednesday, three guns were found at three different Duval County schools, bringing the total found so far this school year to 10 countywide. At the top of the news, we told you about the arrest of three students on gun charges, and that has rekindled a debate over how to keep students safe, and some parents are calling for metal detectors. While school police use wands to search bags, students do not have to walk through detectors in order to enter the building. Channel 4's Vic Michalucci has been looking into the question. I wish they would have more security. This mom is concerned. She has two sons in Duval County Public Schools. She's worried about the number of weapons and violence on campuses. When you get a phone call saying the school's on lockdown, you're in panic by then. You don't know what's going to happen to your child. Lockdowns seem to be a weekly occurrence in the city, and so far this year, administrators have discovered nine guns at schools, including three on Wednesday. The superintendent says school police are doing extra security searches on campus. Still, some parents say that is not enough. They want to see even more safety measures. They probably need metal detectors just to make sure that the kids are not bringing anything that's unsafe to school. We asked on our Facebook page and hundreds of parents responded, the majority in favor of walk-through metal detectors. Others sounded off against them, saying they're a bad idea. The metal detector was not a silver bullet. Superintendent Vitti, who was a dean in New York City where they used the detectors on students, doesn't think they'll solve the problems here. The last thing that I want is the school to feel like a prison. He and the sheriff say a lot of this falls down to parenting and community involvement. Parents, again, you know, making sure that you know who your kids are with, you know what your kids are doing. News for Jack's crime analyst Gil Smith was a school resource officer for six years. He says detectors would have their pros and cons. If this trend continues and if the numbers increase, it may be something that they have to look at. that would be a tremendous expense to do that for every school in the system. For now, he says parents and peers are the first line of defense. On the South Bank, Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. And as Vic just showed you, we have a survey on newsforjax.com asking you should metal detectors be in our local schools. And here's a, an updated look at how you're responding. And 90% of you right now are saying yes, they should be in the schools. 7% are saying no. And 3% saying not sure. Now,